in name, the entire show. Name a series with a dude like Odin where somebody can survive in a pot like Odin did, and he's not even a top twenty character in Strike. Who, Odin. Yeah. Name a series. There's nobody no, who's just like is oh, Odin me... top twenty. No. I'm trying to he's think of the numbers. Top 20. Yo, Odin might he's be top, top twenty. 20. No, he's not. No, he's he not. might be number twenty. Yo, he's not top twenty. <laughs> yeah, tripping. He's number twenty. Yo, put it this but way. But my point is, he was able to survive that. I'm a I, I'm I'm a huge Zoro fan, but like I don't believe Zoro's cutting him without Enma. Not cutting Kaido without Emma. And that Emma, as I've said before, I believe it turns black, obviously, because of your hockey. But the person who put their hockey into that sword, it's left over from them. So I, that's I, why when Kaido's got only cut, if he turns black. When no. Kaido turned and he was like, yo, what's that ominous sword? He said something like that. You remember? Yeah, he, he felt that hockey, that wasn't even from Zoro. That was from Enma. I only, I only may agree with that if they probably share the same will. Because they're both conquerors. No, because um, if you think of when Joe used Ryuma's blade to cut um, Monet, he went right through her and he used that hockey blade. Yet Joe mm. didn't have. Didn't Listen, cut man, her that was, he didn't cut her. We Ryuma. all knew that was King Dispo. <laughs> it was so wallet. Yo, it was I can't so take this Zoro disrespect from you, Lionel, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I bro, watch Alabasta. Read one. Alabasta again, bro. Read it. But we all know. But we all know that Zoro wanted to cut Monet. Yo, you know what's crazy? 